The Water Circle by Wesley. Step 1. Sun. Sun is what starts it all. If we do not have the sun, we will not live. It gives us vitamin E. The sun heats up everything. Step 2. Ocean. The ocean is where some of the water creatures live. The ocean is mostly made of ocean water, salt water. Only a couple percent of it is clean water. Step 3. Evaporation. Water evaporates from rivers, streams, oceans, or wherever else there is water. Water becomes water vapor when water evaporates. Step 4. Condensation. When water vapor cools, it condenses. The condensed water is visible as clouds, fog, or dew. You can also see it on shower doors, mirrors, or on windows, plus more. Step 5. Clouds. When water vapor cools, it becomes clouds. High in the sky, tiny leftover water vapor bumps into each other and forms clouds. Step 6. Precipitation. Precipitation is any form of liquid or solid water particles that fall from the sky. Precipitation is caused by when a mass of warm, moist air hits a mass of cold air. Step 7. Rain, hail, sleet, and snow. Water can come down in different ways, such as rain, hail, sleet, and snow. Rain is plain water. Hail is frozen rain. Sleet is rain and snow mixed. Snow is frozen water. Step 8. Land. The land is where all the living creatures live on. There is no water on land. The land absorbs all the water from the rain. Sleet, snow, ice, and hail. The land is the place where the sun of the water hits. Step 9. River. The river is where the water flows through to get all the way back to the ocean. The river is where some fish or other water animals live. The river is where some of our fresh water comes from. Step 10. The water cycle. The water cycle never ends. First it evaporates, then it condenses, then it precipitates. Next, it comes down in four different ways. Finally, the river leads it back into the ocean. Bibliography. Weather on Earth book. The end.